just typical weather here. It's not, it's not that windy. It is a bit windy, not so windy that we can't get our double under crossovers in. This is a widely requested uh, technique. This is going to be a tutorial on the double under crossover. Thank you to Declan, thank you to Frederick Perjo for um, requesting this. As I say, your requests are really helpful for me. The double under crossover is, of course, a combination of a double under, which I'll demonstrate. Nice. And a crossover, which I'll also demonstrate. Wicked. The double under crossover is a really good technique. Um, it's high intensity. You're opening, you're closing, you're jumping high. It's mental, it's timing. Um, you can really break a sweat in no time doing this technique. So throw it in with your workouts. If you missed the last video, on the crossover technique in which it was fully broken down um, check that out i'm going to link that up in the corner for you i'd recommend you check that out first actually or if you're perfectly happy with your crossovers just carry on okay so the double under cross is two rotations of the rope the first rotation with the rope open the second rotation with your arms crossed all done with one jump. What we need to understand is that when that rope has passed underneath the feet for that first rotation, you have a very small window to get your hands crossed and in place, maintaining technique. Um, if technique fails, the rope will let you know about it in very painful terms. And it's very easy for technique to fail because you're doing a high speed move and you're you're trying to get your hands in position very quickly and therefore you might sacrifice your technique. So just make sure you've got your crossovers down and your double handers down first. I'm gonna demonstrate this from a side on angle and this will help you because you'll get a better chance to see that short window of opportunity that you have to get that rope crossed. I'm gonna really slow down this clip as well. Um, so that we can see that window of opportunity to get the rope crossed and better understand what I'm talking about here. Okay, so as you see, there's a very short um, window of opportunity to get your hands across, but there's also a very short um, window for you to get your hands uncrossed and get that ready for the next rotation. And the next rotation is gonna have your hands open. All right, so you're doing all these things really quickly. What I'd suggest is start trying to do one double under crossover. Don't start chaining them together yet. Just do one and then stop. What we're focusing on first is um, tackling the first window of opportunity, okay? And making sure we've got the rope going around and then we're able to snap that um, cross just in time to get the rope to get the rope across. And then what you'll be able to do is have that second rotation come round um, and then you're gonna stop. The rope's just gonna stop, okay? We're not, we're not, we're not gonna kill ourselves just yet. We're not gonna, try and nail it all at once. You just want to get that second rotation done first. After that, what you want to do is make sure that you're able to um, open your hands up just before you land. What that will do 
is get you ready for the next rotation, which of course will be open. just get that first double cross done um, then when you're chaining your double crosses to get more and more in back to back I need to stress this point do not sacrifice your jumping technique okay do not sacrifice your jumping technique the same way you do a normal double under is the same way you want to jump for a double under crossover keeping your feet nice and tight and keeping a nice controlled bounce. Now, in the beginning, because you're crossing the rope and you might be tilting forward, as mentioned in the previous video on crossovers, all right, so it's just a slight, a slight tilt, okay? We're not overextending because then we're struggling to get back and forth it's just a slight tilt just so that you can get your hand positioning down a bit now because we're crossing the rope and we might tilt forward just slightly your jump um, might be slightly different to a regular double under in that you're slightly tilting your torso um, forwards and backwards just keeping in rhythm but we need to keep our footwork intact we need to keep our footwork you know um, controlled all right the moment you start to lose a footwork everything goes wrong so it might help to you know just get in the flow by doing some double unders first and then maybe work on chaining one or two together two or three double under crosses together you know just increment it slowly baby steps so once you've done that and you've gotten used to just getting that double and cross and stopping the rope getting used to snatching that window of opportunity to cross your hands um, we then need to work on opening our hands up again for the next double under cross which of course starts with your hands open so we need to get those hands open similar to the first part <laughs> trying to talk over these dogs in the park um, similar to the first part there's a very small window of opportunity for you to get your hands open um, in between when your feet touch the ground and when you jump and get that rope around again okay so i'm going to demonstrate that slow down the video so that we can really see that window of opportunity and um, get a better idea of what i mean here So I hope that um, slow-mo breakdown helped a lot. As you can see, there's, very, there's, a very, um, there's a very small window of opportunity to get that in um, at all times. We just want to maintain that we're keeping the right technique. We're, we've got our footwork intact. Um, when you're crossing that rope, really get across um, as much as you can. Get those handles pointed outwards. We can't, we can't sacrifice technique. And um, so, recap things to remember double under crossover. Once you've mastered your double under, once you've mastered your crossover, it's all about timing, it's all about opening and closing your hands um, with enough time to keep in the rhythm with your jump and making sure you snatch that window of opportunity. Otherwise, that rope's going to hit you and it's going to hurt because the rope will be moving pretty fast. Another thing to remember, we never want to sacrifice technique. Um, keep our jumping technique in tune, keep it nice and compact. Thirdly, with our cross, we want to get those hands across. It's going to be tough when you're first learning because you have to get your hands across. 
and make sure they're pointing they're pointing um, outwards and you have to do it very quickly because you have to get in and then you're out again otherwise otherwise that rope's gonna hit you. Um, so that's about it. Also, sorry that's not it. Um, start slow. Start with one dub cross, stop the rope, go again, another dub cross. Um, you know, get into that rhythm. Use your double unders to keep the timing. Use your double unders to make sure you're keeping your jumping technique intact. And then try and increment by chaining two double crosses together, making sure you're snatching those windows of opportunity. Um, you know, skip back through the video just so you can see those breakdowns. I believe that's it for today. That's all we've got time for. Thanks again for tuning in, to watch the video, to hear me speak and to hear me share. Um, what I know, I hope it's been beneficial for you. If it has, uh, like the video, subscribe for more of these videos, and let me know in the comments um, if there are any techniques you would like to see worked on in the future. Also, um, let me know if there are any parts of this video that stood out for you, anything that addressed some sticking points that you might have been having or anything that you think will be useful in your next training session. Uh, it really helps me going forward to make these videos as helpful to you guys as possible. Okay, that's it. Thanks again, and until next time, all the best with your training, and stay raging.